Good morning. Good to be with you on this Friday morning. We're reminding you that we are open for worship this Sunday morning here at Grace Point Church here in Napanee, and you are invited to join us. We will be studying Psalms, continuing our study in the Psalms this week. Uh, also, we're observing the Lord's Supper, and you are invited to come and join us for worship this Sunday morning at 1015 here at Grace Point Church here in Napanee. And it's our privilege when we gather together for the worship of God in the house of God to hear the word of God proclaimed. It ministers to us, it blesses us, and instructs us for our lives. So we sit under the proclamation of the word of God, and we hear of the promise of God. We hear of the assurance of pardon, which comes to us through Christ. By Christ's death and resurrection, we have uh, been we have received newness of life. All those who place their faith and trust in Christ have been born anew, and we enjoy, we enjoy this newness of life that we have received through the Lord Jesus Christ. And scriptures assure us of this pardon. So not only when we first believe, but as we go out through our life, we continually hear and remember and recognize this promise that God has given, the assurance of pardon that comes to us through Christ. We'll look at a text this week of Hosea chapter 6, verse 6, and we see the statement of that very promise. Now, this is Hosea. He's in the Old Testament. He's looking forward to the promise of God. He knows that God has made this promise, and he's trusting and relying on the promise of salvation that will come to God's people. And uh, that's why Hosea uh, includes this line, and this is Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. And it tells us about something about our relationship with God, does it not? For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. The burnt offerings, the sacrifices, uh, the ceremonial system could never save and never has saved. The priest goes day to day performing the same duty which could never take away sins. The writer of Hebrews declares that. But we know that Christ is that one sacrifice who comes and does what the sacrificial system could never do. That would be to pay the sufficient price for sin and restore us unto God. And so believers in Jesus, rest and be assured of this most blessed truth today. Your sins are forgiven and your life is redeemed through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. 